co-hosts Sinye Kiesel and I are here at Boyd Coddington's facility in La Habra, California. Sinye, it's a pretty cool place here, isn't it? Yes, thanks for having me, Lance. I'm really excited. Mm -hmm. Boyd has a show here the second Saturday of every month where he just invites people to come on down and take a look at his cars that are on display here and have a little car show. He picks the car that he likes the best. What do you like the best here? Gosh, it's tough. I like the station wagon a lot. It's really a neat car. Mm -hmm. And the pickup. Uh -huh. 57 Ford and a 56 Ford. Did you notice the Volkswagen out there? The Volkswagen is cool. I can't wait to see the interior and what he's done with it because uh -huh. it is neat. And a Volkswagen Beetle at a Boyd Coddington event. That's something really unusual. But we are going to show you that car. We're going to show you a few more. You're going to meet some of the owners, some of the drivers. So you know what I tell you every week. Just get really comfortable. Just kind of slide into that couch. Maybe grab that bowl of popcorn and enjoy the show. So we'll see you in a bit. Here at Boyd Coddington's car show, he picks out the car or truck that he likes the best. Well, Gary Gilbert, congratulations. You were Boyd's pick today. Thank you very much. Must feel kind of good having uh, somebody like Boyd deciding yours is the best one here. It's an honor. Mm -hmm. It definitely is an honor. What's the history of the truck? History is I've had it for about six years, spent about four years building it, and have been driving it around for the last couple of years. I drive it on a regular basis every day just about go pick up grandchildren from school do those kinds of things so that would make you the coolest grandfather at the school right hey well when the little guys come out and they see the yellow hot rod they say oh all right <laughs> so it's a lot of fun uh, -huh. uh what all have you done to it what's the running gear on it it's a zz4 chevrolet motor camaro clip on the front end with a uh, chevrolet overdrive transmission ford nine inch rear end air conditioning vintage air uh, I did it, column, all the good stuff in it. Do you think the 56 Ford is the, kind of the top of the pecking order of, of pickup trucks as far as style? I think the 56 is very unique. The big window is very unique. It was a one-year body style, and I personally, I like it better than all the rest that they've ever built. All right, well, Gary, thanks for taking the time to talk to us. Hey, thank you very much. I am standing here with Mark and his beautiful 34 Ford Roadster. Hey, Mark, how you doing? Very good, thank you. What's the history of this car? How long have you had it? I built this car about nine years ago, right before I had my first kid. I've had three since then, three boys. Yeah, these headers, when I built the car, this motor came out of an old top fuel dragster, and I really wanted a zoomy look on it. 
and everybody kind of said, how are you going to do that? So when we built the headers, we built the, another set of headers on the inside that the exhaust goes to normally, but when you get to a car show, you can uncap it and sound like an open funny car. And you get kicked out of every car show I go to. Basically, when I built this car, I wanted it to look like it came out of like 1960s. Hardly any billet and um, keep it kind of rough and I drive the heck out of it. Now, do you uh, do all the work yourself? I didn't do all the work. I didn't paint it. I didn't upholster it. Um, I did most of the assembly work and I designed it and um, pretty much got all the parts and put it all together. All your kids like hopping in and driving around with you? Yep. Uh, I got a, my older son, Nick. This is Joey. And I got a younger son, Remington. And um, they love it. They just, they were born and just been around this car since day one. Now, Mark had mentioned there was uh, teeth marks in the steering wheel. Do you want to tell me the story about that? Yeah, when Joey was a younger boy, we used to sit him in here with his um, legs cradling the steering wheel and used to rock back and forth for hours. And um, I even got his name on the um, dashboard. It says, pit crew, Nick and Joey. My third son, who's nine months old, we haven't got his name on there yet. Well, thanks a lot, Mark. Thank you very Beautiful much. Beautiful car you have here. All right, thank and you. And thank you, Joey. Mike and I are standing next to his beautiful 57 Ford Ranch Wagon. And before the interview, we were talking about how 5, 6, and 7 uh, Chevs get all the press. But I think 55, 56, and 57 Fords are every bit as attractive. Huh? Oh, I think you agree. Absolutely. Yeah, that's uh, it's been a love of mine since I was a kid. But uh, when I first saw the car, I had to have it. You know, and I agree. 57 Fords for me are the, are the ticket. Yeah. Was it a rust bucket in somebody's backyard, or was it like we see it? No, it was. Uh, I was. I bought it from the second owner. Uh, it was originally a Ventura County car, and it ended up down here in SoCal. And I saw it in the paper for about two grand. Drove it home, but it had a little rust, surface rust. All the parts were there. You know, everything was intact. That's one of the reasons I got it. And it was relatively straight, very little rust. So it didn't take a lot to get it to where it is today, as far as aesthetics. Uh -huh. Running gear stock Ford on it? Have you pumped it up? Oh no, it's got a. <laughs> that's where it gets interesting. Um, got a 390 in it that's been uh, punched out 60. Uh, it's got a Claysmith cam, uh, ported, polished heads, intake, aluminum heads. Uh, it's been gone through, so it's got a lot of torque. It's all modified, uh -huh. but it's all Ford, so I, I kept it Ford all the way. <laughs> that's great. Uh, station wagons, of course, are, are coming on more and more. Are you seeing more of them out there? Oh yeah, yeah. The interest has grown. Well, I bought it in 90. Um, I think it was 95, and it was just starting to take hold, the wagons. And now, if you go to a lot of the events, you start seeing a lot more. And you see, obviously, the five, uh, the Tri-5 Chevys are out there, but you're starting to see more of the ranch wagons, too. So uh, I'm happy about that. The Vintage Vehicle Show is based out of Seattle, Washington. And, and one thing that I notice on your car that you never see up in Seattle is you have no windshield wipers. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> I can see. I, that's pretty obvious, huh? Yeah. Well, number one, I don't drive it in the rain. but being from you know SoCal, that's uh, seldom. I mean, it rains maybe once or twice a year here, and for about four or five days, and that's it. Rest of the year, you're good. So, well, well Seattle, it rains once or twice a week for four or five days. So. <laughs> yeah, that's what I've heard. Yeah, yeah I, I'm happy down here. I mean, it's I was born and raised in SoCal, and this is uh, this is home for me. I I grew up in the car car culture. You know, born in '59. In the '60s, I used to I went out to Lines Drag Strip, and that's when the bug bit me. My uh, uncle had a '66 Dodge Dart. He yanked out the inline six, dropped in a Hemi, and I've, you know, I've been a hot rod guy ever since. So it's been great. Uh -huh. It's been awesome. Well, Mike, thanks for taking the time to talk to us. Thanks. You have a thanks beautiful ride here. Yeah, thank you. you Appreciate betcha. it.
I'm standing next to Scotty Gray, and Scotty was telling me some of the cars that he has owned in the past, and I was going to rattle off the names of them, but there were so many that you're all familiar with. Scotty, uh, what, what have you been the past owner of? Well, I was into Hollywood cars. I had the Batmobile from Batman Returns, uh, one of the original Knight Rider cars, uh, Dukes of Hazard. I even had a Charlie's Angels van, if you remember that from from way back, and uh, I still have a, uh, a bat cycle, and just a, a Paul McCartney car that he used in a movie that nobody ever heard of called Give My Regards to Broad Street, but they're all gone now. We're doing hot rods now. And you owned the Shazoom. I had Shazoom. I owned it for about two years. I actually bought it from Boyd and uh, sold it to uh, uh, Barrett-Jackson Auction at the Peterson Museum this year. It's, uh, it belongs to a California car dealer somewhere now in Southern California. And you're currently having a car built by Boyd. The uh, the it's a Delahaye, and you're calling it what? What the hay? What the hay? I bet this is going to be all over the magazines in the not too distant future. Well, actually, uh, uh, one of the Buckaroo publications has already been here and done some pictures of the chassis that we're standing in front of, and uh, we hope that it's a new direction in street riding. Is is the 32s and the 33s have all been done in about every way you can do them, and so we're taking a European takeoff of a street rod and I'm really excited about it and Boyd is too. Marcel DeLay is doing the body he was here today and he's really excited about it. I think I, I'm the same as a lot of viewers and maybe even you that not too many years ago we looked at Talbos and Delahays and went wow these are really cool. Well uh, and uh, for, as in the Delahays it was several coach builders as you know and the one we're doing is a is a takeoff of a Fagonian Falachi which had the big pontoon fenders and swoopy lines and it's really going to be an art deco car with as you can see the Viper power and that's really going to be cool. It's real exciting for us to be able to do a show with Boyd Coddington. How have you found him to work with? Boyd uh, takes customer service to the extreme. We, we have a, a business in Rockwall, and I hope our customers are as satisfied with us as we are with Boyd because he, he'll just turn over backwards to make sure that everything is done the way you want it and you're really happy with it. And, and uh, as a matter of fact, I'm having another car built by Boyd, too. He's doing the 10 signature roadsters. I'm having one of those done for my wife. So that's going to be exciting, too. Well, he's certainly treated us well here at his facility. Hi, I'm standing with Aaron. Aaron, this is a beautiful bug you have here. What's the history on this car? Um, well, I picked up the car probably about eight years ago, and I used to drive it every day when I was going to college, and uh, finally one day just decided to start over and redo the whole thing. Now, what is the running gear? Did you actually do some more things in the engine, speed up the horsepower? It's got a 2275, 10.5 uh, to 1 compression. Uh, it's got a short ratio transaxle in it so 48 IDAs on it it's every everything you could think of it's got done pretty much so what's the horsepower it made uh, 182 on the dyno oh my gosh so how much does this bug weigh um, I haven't weighed it since it's been done so I'm not sure probably about 1700 pounds I think was what we guessed so it, it gets along though I really like what you did with the um, interior as well I think it's I think it still has the old look, but it's also yeah, really right. modern and up Kind of stock looking, but changed a little to make it a little more modern, hot rod looking, you know, not not completely stock, but, you know, let everyone know there's, you know, a little more to it than what you just see, you know. And what are your plans for the future for this? Um, I'll probably sell the car and buy a house. Then uh, after that, I'll probably build a hot rod. That's what I'd like to do.
Well, Sonia, did you have a good time with the show today? I had a great time. I learned a lot. It was really great. Mm -hmm. Boyd Coddington has a fantastic facility here. It's just been a pleasure being able to walk around here and meet the owners and see the cars. Uh, anything stand out today? Anything extra special? I really like the station wagon and the bug. Mm -hmm. bug was impressive. Yeah, the bug is pretty neat. Mm -hmm. Well, we would like to thank you for watching the show. And you know what they say all the time in all those old shows? They always say, see you same time, same station next week. See you then. Bye-bye.